self-driving cars, robo servers, wired tech. If it ain't broke, right? I take it you're not a fan of the new system? Listen, I, I get the whole thing of adapt or die innovation. But you know what? There's some things that are better learned through experience. And technology can be meddled with. I don't trust it. <laughs> Except for the VR wifey. What? A man has his needs. Fair enough. Okay. We're here. Let's see what we've got. I'm looking forward to it, sir. I don't like change, so let's see if we're gonna need this thing. All right, so what you got for me? Two males, mid 20s, and a single bit of evidence to make them too low. No worries, that's where we come in. All yours. Thanks. We'll take it from here. <clears throat> Something feels weird about that one. Yeah. Why would someone wear tactical gear just to kill an innocent civilian? Well, I think this is the part where I plug in, right? Yes, sir. I suggest we plug into the body with the bullet wounds. Go for it. You're the wire tech expert, right? Don't worry. You'll be fine. Once I'm in his memories, what happens if I get unplugged? And feel free to dumb it down for me. Your body will remain in a comatose state while your mind is trapped in a void. It's not pretty. Ready? Fuck it. Let's get it over with. This is weird. Just close your eyes and count backwards from 10. Don't panic. The jump was successful. Here, where? In your head. Remember your wire tech training. Now, according to my scanner, you're moments away from the murder. So stay on high alert. 10 4. Why are you hiding? You know they can't see you, right? Right, right. I, I, I know that. I know that. I see someone coming now. <laughs> Jesus! The murderer used a Glock G19X as a murder weapon. That's a military-grade handgun. You got that, Ruby? You got that? Ruby, the killer got away. There's something about this that doesn't add up. I thought you said I couldn't be seen or hurt here. Wait, wait, wait. I never said you couldn't get hurt. Who are you? Dennis. Meet Killer Mike. Why are you doing this? You don't remember me, do you? Ah! 
I don't know what the heck you're talking about. I just met you today. Maybe this will jog your memory. Hey, kid. I was in eighth grade. Only 13 at the time. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess. I miss the best so much. Am I in trouble? Trouble? Don't be silly. Come on. Hop on in, I'll give you a ride. I don't know. I should be getting home now. My grandparents are waiting for me. The more reason for it. Come on in, it's not safe out here. Come on. Who's that man in the back? Him, he's just some young punk that I caught tagging a wall at a 7-Eleven. I wouldn't worry about him. You coming? I'm sure your grandparents are going to be worried about you. Come on. They always said don't talk to strangers. But what harm can a cop do? You? After all these years? How? What the fuck does it matter? Fifteen years of therapy and careful planning. That's how. You're supposed to be dead. Cryogenic pills. Stiffens the body and slows the heart rate to the point where it's undetectable. You'd be surprised at things you could find on the black market these days. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Please don't do this to me. Please. I have a family, please. Spare me, you piece of shit. You don't know how long I've waited for this moment. What? Just fucking kill me! Kill me now! No, you're not taking the easy way out. Mike, ready to come back? Screw this! Do what you want! But I'm not staying here to die! What is this? For the sake of exposition, let's call it an early retirement. I hope you rot in hell, Dennis. Get me out of here! Get me out! Thank you. Come on, let's get out of here. 